on you top, my name is Crew Chris with Tag Muay Thai. One of the biggest things you can do as a brand new Muay Thai student is to shadow box. Normally, uh, you know, fighters will go out for three miles, three, four, five mile run, and then they go back and they do the shadow boxing. Okay, this is, uh, I want to say learning speed and training speed, and then you got the combat speed. This is when you can start to focus in on your technique. Okay, and, uh, a couple things that I look for as I'm watching students is if they're doing full extension. When they're doing full extension, okay, we're looking for full extension of the punches, okay, as they're doing the punches, because what you'll see is a lot of guys just go short pin pat punches versus full extension. Remember in Muay Thai, okay, the punches set up the kicks and other little weapons that you have on your body. So we're looking for full extension, okay, and we want it to be crisp. So right here I'm doing it slow, but in reality, as you guys are throwing it, I want you guys to put us, uh, us, you put, you, you become a little bit more uh, precision. And when you're going a little bit harder, a little bit faster with more snap and bad intentions behind it, it also fixes your overall balance. When I'm talking about your overall balance, as I'm throwing those punches, dang, once I'm throwing those knees, I'm going back into my stance. That's what we're looking for. For guys to go back into their stance right away, throwing the elbows, whatever they need to do, even if they're doing something funky, when they step to the side, boom, they hit with that elbow, come back into the stance, that's all fine and dandy. They also want these guys to be able to utilize their defenses. They need to be realistic. So if I'm moving right over here, and I'm throwing my punches, and I'm breathing, okay, imagine that person's moving, I'm kind of following them. I'm working on my footwork, and also I'm working on my defenses, so I'm learning how to counter that uh, as well. Other things that we look for is the breathing. Breathing through your gut versus your throat. Every time I'm throwing the punches, I'm throwing the kicks, I'm imagining somebody's hitting me back as well, and I'm breathing, I'm exhaling, so that I can catch my breath, I can tighten up my, my, uh, my armor, okay? Other things that I'm doing, okay? We're facing all the four sides. We're not looking for the guys to keep moving in the circle. We're looking for guys to kind of be realistic with the combinations, using face and face, looking, trying to train that eye. Um, other than that, I mean, just go in there, you know, kind of have fun with it. Normally we put a timer for three minutes, last 30 seconds, we have these guys go a lot harder and a lot faster, where they're moving really, really fast, and they're not going to be perfect, but over time, that's what we're looking to develop. So that's just basic shadow boxing. Right up.